Hey, what's going on people? In this video, I'm going to show you all how we can pass an object as an argument. So here's the rundown. I have a class car. Cars have two fields, a model and a color, and a constructor to assign a model and color argument that we receive. I have one car object. Car, car1 equals new car. The model of this car is a Mustang and the color is red. So I'm going to create a method that will change the color of my car, but I have to pass in a car object. So let's create a method to handle that for us. Public static void, it's not returning anything, and let's call this method change color. And we'll need two parameters, a car that we would like to change the color of, so the data type is going to be car, as well as a name for this parameter. Let's name whatever car object that we receive as just simply car. And we need a color as well, that would be a string, string color. Then to change the color of this car, I would type car.color equals whatever color that we receive. And that's it. So now when we invoke this method, we have to pass in a car object as well as a color. So that would be change color. And the car object that I will pass in as an argument is car1, the name of the object, as well as a new color. Let's color this car silver. And then let's display our car's color and model. Console dot right line car one dot color plus a lot of space plus car one dot model. And this should change the color of our car to a silver Mustang. So to pass an object as an argument, you need to make sure that you have the right parameter set up. You type the data type of this object followed by a name for this parameter. Then when you invoke this method, you have to pass in the name of the object. Let's try something a little bit different. Let's create a method to copy an object. So let's get rid of this change color method, but we'll keep our car object. So we'll create a method to return a car object. So public static, instead of void, the data type is the type that we're returning. We're returning a car object. So replace void with car, then we need a name for this method. Let's call this copy. So we will pass in a car object. The data type is car, and I will name this argument that we receive as car. Now, one thing that we can do to copy a car object is return a new car. And then we'll need to pass in a model and a color. So the model of this car is car.model and the color is car.color. Now, if I would like to copy car1 and create a second car, a copy of it, I can type car, car2 equals copy, and then I will pass this object as an argument. And then let's display the fields of car2. And I bet it's a red Mustang. Oh yeah, there we go. So we successfully created a copy of car1 by returning a car object. So yeah, that's how to pass objects as arguments. You just have to list the data type of the object. Since we're working with cars, we had to set up a car parameter. Then if you would like to return an object, instead of void, you would replace void with the data type of the object you would like to return. And if you would like to return a new object, like what we did with this copy method, you would return a new and then call the constructor of whatever object you would like to create and return. So that's why we called the car constructor and then we returned that new car back to this spot here. So it's kind of like we replaced this method with calling the car constructor, something like that. So yeah, that's how to pass objects as arguments as well as return objects from methods too. So yeah, if this video helped you out, feel free to help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.